Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to enable TLS 1.2 on Windows Server 2008. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. Here, we have used Windows Server 2008 R2 as an example to show you how to enable TLS 1.2 on your server. Go to the taskbar located on the bottom of the screen. After then click on the Windows Start button. Go to the search box. And type run on it. Once you type on it, you will get the run application above. Click on it to open it. By clicking on it, a run dialog box will be opened. In the open field, type reg edit. After then click on the OK button. Once you click on the OK button, you will get the registry editor window. Click on the H key local machine. After then click on the system. After then click on the current control set. After then click on the control. Scroll down the screen. Select the folder security provider and click on it. After then click on the S channel. After then click on the protocols. Here you can see the protocols which are enabled on your local system. Let's maximize the registry window so you can easily view it. To enable TLS 1.2, right click on the protocols folder and select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on it, a new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name TLS 1.2. Type TLS 1.2 and press enter. Right click on the TLS 1.2 key and select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, a new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name client. Type client and press enter. Again right click on the client key and select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default. And press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default. And select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero and the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the client key and select the new option. 
after then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled. And press enter. Right click on the name enabled. And select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section. And select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field. And enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the TLS 1.2 key. And select new option. After then click on the key option. By clicking on the key option, a new folder will be created with the name new key 1. You have to rename it with the name server. Type server. And press enter. Again right click on the server key. And select new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. Once you click on the DWORD 32-bit value, it will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name disabled by default. Type disabled by default. And press enter. Right click on the name disabled by default. And select modify from the drop down menu. Ensure that the value data field is set to zero. And the base is hexadecimal. Click on OK button to save it. Again right click on the server key. And select the new option. After then click on the DWORD 32-bit value option from the drop-down list. It will create a file with the name new value 1. You have to rename it with the name enabled. Type enabled. And press enter. Right click on the name enabled and select modify from the drop down menu. Go to the base section and select the decimal option. After then go to the value data field and enter the value as 1. Click on OK button to save it. Once you're done, close the registry editor window. And restart the server to make changes effective. After restart, the TLS 1.2 will be enabled on your server. If you want to check it whether it is disabled or not, you can check it by entering your domain name or website name in the following URL. Please note that the domain name or website name should be pointed to your server on which you have disabled the old protocol.
Here, we have entered our demo website demovpstest.com. You can see a detailed report that shows you the health of your server. In the configuration section you can find the supported protocols of your server which are active and disabled. You can see that SSL2, SSL3, TLS1.0, and TLS1.1 are disabled. The protocol TLS 1.2 is enabled for our server. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to enable TLS 1.2 on Windows Server 2008. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.